Just a reminder about PayPal, keep us on the air, because we don't have the resources of Ottawa. Ottawa has unlimited resources, thanks to you. The Governor General was really the citizen of the year at a book fair in Germany, which is a lovely honor for her, except for they build Canada $18 million for her to be citizen of the year. I mean, this is insane. Jay Goldberg is with the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. He joins me right now because you have so many other examples of insanity. We have so many other examples of insanity. The latest thing we've heard is that the infrastructure bank, the Canadian infrastructure bank created by the Trudeau government, which right. hasn't built a single infrastructure project, just gave out $8 million in bonuses to its employees as Canadians are facing high inflation, high interest rates. Isn't that the same bank that a group of MPs re reviewed it and said just a few months ago, it should be disbanded. It's a total failure. Well, the whole rationale in the beginning to start it was a, a total nonsense, frankly. It was just another government work project that could have been done more efficiently elsewhere. Well, I'm, I'm also told that recently the, um, the Bank of Canada was pretty liberal, just and liberal with its bonuses. They were. I mean, last year, inflation was 6.8%. Their target, their number one job, is to get inflation between 1% and 3%, and they're aiming for 2 it was 6.8% last year, and they handed out $20 million worth of bonuses. In the private sector, you would be fired for that kind of performance. Instead, we handed out $20 million of bonuses when Canadians were hurting. And to add to the imperial Ottawa, the GG, officials, I mean, do these officials, do they account to anybody? I mean, do they just give themselves bonuses? So they're not the Treasury Board ruling over them? There doesn't seem to be any real accountability. The Bank of Canada put out a statement talking about how they have an internal process in deciding how these things work. The bottom line is it's taxpayer money that's going there. And if their excuse is simply, which we've heard, that bonuses go out in the private sector too, well, guess what? Last year, if you were so off your target in the private sector, you'd all lose your jobs. There'd be no question to bonuses last year. And they've been paid bonuses year after year after underperforming. I can see the internal processes. There's a committee here and a committee here. This committee says, we will give you bonuses if you give us bonuses. But there's another aspect of the imperial prime ministership. And I know this for a fact. Other prime ministers, there would be his or her car and one or two outriding cars from the RCMP. Now I saw a picture the other day of the prime minister in Toronto. And just going along, there are seven or eight or nine SUVs all surrounding him, looking like the president of the United States. I mean, this is not for a security. This is, this is for aggrandizement. Well, I mean, that's certainly a possibility. We definitely need to find out. And that's something that should be investigated fully, because if it's not necessary, it shouldn't be happening. Jay, come back with the answer for that one. Thank you very much, Jay Goldberg. Canadian Taxpayers Federation, three minutes. I know that many of you viewers are experiencing tough times with those pointless Trudeau taxes. You're watching every dollar, so are we. We run a very lean operation, which is why I'm asking this question of you now. If you know of any companies who want to advertise on this station, good people watch it, as you know, from coast to coast to coast. Please let us know. And in the meantime, please subscribe and PayPal. <laughs>